Okay, so you're probably already aware that you can hide an element on a page using CSS and there's a couple of ways that you can do that. So if I just create an inline style on this middle red block on the page, uh, we can set the display property of the block to none and it removes it from the document flow so you can't see it and it no longer takes up any space on the page. Or the other option is to set the visibility of the actual element uh, to be hidden and although the element can't be seen on the page anymore it's still taking up some space. But there is actually a third way uh, without using CSS that you can hide an element on the page and that is to use a specific attribute on the actual element and that unsurprisingly is the hidden attribute. So if we just apply that to that red middle block you can see that's got the same effect as setting the display property to none using CSS. Now, if you wanted to toggle this element to be hidden or displayed uh, using CSS, you would create a class and then using JavaScript toggle that class on and off to show or hide it. Uh, but with the hidden attribute, you can actually access that on the element itself and set that to true or false depending on what you want to do with the element. So uh, if I just open up my developer tools here and go to the console, uh, if I just select all of the uh, blocks that we've got on the page, so query selector all uh, by class of block, and if I just select that f uh, middle element, the uh, the red block, uh, we can actually access its hidden attribute, and at the moment it is hidden, so we're getting a true value back. But we can actually just also reassign a value to that tr uh, hidden attribute uh, just by setting it to false. We'll make that red block reappear. And if we actually have a look at the elements that are on the uh, DOM at the moment, you can see that hidden attribute has been removed. So the hidden attribute is actually pretty well supported all the way back to IE11. So there's no problem uh, with browser compatibility in using it. And it just provides you with another option for hiding elements on the page if you don't want to set up CSS classes specifically to do that. So that's it for the hidden attribute. Stay tuned for more dev tips.